In this demo, we will see how to vendor all the chain code import dependencies into the chain code package uh, to make it easy to install and instantiate chain codes. If we have a simple chain code, such as chain code example 02, which, um, which has imported just the shim and protos.peer and a few um, system packages, then you do not need um, to vendor anything because these dependencies are available to you in the image that the chain code gets built with. However, if you have a more complex chain code such as this one, which in imports some external packages not used in the fabric, some external packages that are used in the fabric and are vendored in it, some fabric packages, and the shim package, which is really the only needed package to build the chain code with. If you have such a such a, a more complex um, chain code with complex import dependencies, then you may consider um, vendoring all these dependencies to make install and instantiate simple and easy and fairly foolproof. This we will uh, proceed to demonstrate. Before that, a quick word about my environment. The very first thing you are going to need is to get the Go vendor package from this URL um, and make, make sure it's available to you uh, to do Go vendoring. Uh, my environment consists of two Go paths. One is where my chain code resides under chain code source mycc. Um, and the only the only package in this environment in this uh, in this go, in this directory is my chain code and then i have the fabric um, folder in in which the only uh, package that is there um, or only packages that are there are the fabric related packages nothing else is there so the reason for this isolation and separation between my chain code and my fabric is after I have finished vendoring everything accurately in my chain code, I want to make sure I can do a go build in this chain code uh, folder and make sure it builds cleanly without any, uh, any uh, uh, com contamination from other packages in, in the go path. So let us go ahead and uh, start the demo now. So I have a cheat sheet which you can follow um, as I do the demonstration. The very first thing I'm going to do is somewhat counterintuitive and odd, and that is to copy my chain codes from my uh, chain code, um, my chain code folder into the fabric folder. I do this for a very simple reason. Um, my chain code has got this external package that is also used in the fabric. And I want to make sure when I vendor the protobuf.proto, I vendor the same copy of that protobuf.proto that's vendored in the fabric, so that I have that same um, I have the same uh, I have the same package in my chain code also. That's the only reason why I do this uh, work under under the fabric uh, directory. All right. So let's go to the my chain code under the fabric folder. I'm going to set the go path to be my fabrics go path. Um, I have only my chain code in it. I'm going to do a go vendor in it to pick up the vendor folder to initialize the vendor folder. The very first thing I'm going to do is get all the external dependent import packages one by one. The only thing I have is this one. So I'm going to fetch that using the go vendor fetch into my vendor folder. Once that's done, I'm going to get all other packages. Um, this, these include the packages such as common util, which are fabric packages. And then um, the uh, packages that are external to fabric but are but are vendored into it as i mentioned before this is the reason um, i i needed the chain code to be under fabric 
to be able to pick up all these external vendor packages. So let's get all these packages using the go vendor add command. Once that's done, I, am comp I have completely vendored everything I need to. And I am going to go back to my, I'm going to copy this vendor folder. I don't need to copy the chain code folder because nothing has changed there. I only have to copy the vendor folder to my, um, to my isolated chain code directory. So I can, um, I can verify that it builds without any other, um, any of its dependencies in the go path. Okay, so let's go to my chain code folder, isolated chain code folder. And let me set my go path back to my chain code go path. And do go a go build. If everything goes well, this should build without any other dependencies because all the dependencies are in the go path. And indeed it did. Um, we see, in my case, the chain code executable is mycc, and I have the vendor now, and I have mycc now. Um, I can quickly run this and see if it really runs, and it does. I do not need this executable anymore, so we have verified that the chain code builds without any issues and creates the executable. So let's uh, let's go ahead and remove the chain code now, uh, chain the executable now. Oops, wrong. All right, we have removed the executable and all we have is my chain code and the, and the fully vendored uh, directory under it. Now we are ready to install and instantiate. I'm going to copy this uh, chain code to my fabric source folder so I can proceed with install and instantiate as shown here in this uh, command. I'm not going to do this now because the video is already too long, uh, but this should be familiar to anybody who has done install and instantiate using CLI. Uh, 